What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Kamikaze. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Um, two things I'd like to do in this video. First thing, very quick unboxing. I think there's three books in here from CGC. Um, the second thing I'd like to do is um, I'm just going to show you four um, characters that I'm kind of um, specking on um, in terms of collecting uh, the books associated with those characters. <clears throat> I'm just trying to gather them, them up while um, prices are kind of low. Um, and as you know, I do love to collect uh, not so much first appearances and, and the major keys, which is which is fun, but I really like to hunt for um, those books, what I call uh, the peripheral books. So everything kind of on the outside, second appearances, team ups, um, secondary uh, events, uh, awesome covers uh, and such uh, like that. So um, <clears throat> First, I'll show you those the, the, the four uh, characters that I'm after and some of the books that I have right now that I'm uh, slowly collecting. The first one, uh, and I was happy to, to grab this book, is uh, a couple weeks ago, is Nova. Uh, and great character when we get them in the MCU. What, um, what version? I'm not sure. I think we may get all, but I'm again. I'm just collecting, you know, some of the uh, books that are kind of associated with that. So, yes, this is the first appearance, but um, <clears throat> you know, these ones are still fairly cheap. Got this one with like 15 bucks. This was very close to cover. So that's the 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 first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The second one, uh, some of the books are fairly expensive and some of them are quite expensive. Ghost Rider. I've been after uh, issue one for a little bit. Um, and some of the earlier books, tiny bit out of the price range, but what you can get into is some really cheap books again on the peripheral. These were two bucks each. You can still always find them in the back bin. Um, <clears throat> do we get Ghost Rider? Pretty sure. Again, what uh, version, what character? Not 100% sure. Are we gonna get Midnight Suns? I don't know, but why not grab them? And then there's a bunch of, <clears throat> you know, fun books. Again, super cheap to grab along the way. Some awesome covers. These are just a few. <clears throat> I have more. Um, but I just thought I'd show you some of the ones that, uh, you know, I, I have um, right now. Next one. Yes, this character is definitely coming. And the books are definitely heating up. Uh, some of these would be going off to CGC. But Wolverine, I'm a huge fan. And um, some of the books you can you can find for fairly cheap. And, you know, some have really uh, started to climb. Uh, these I got for, this is a, a while ago. These, in, they're in pristine condition. Got them a while ago, but now they're really, really um, increasing in price. But a cover like this, like I said, uh, peripheral covers. This is this is uh, sorry, peripheral books. This is uh, just a classic cover of uh, Bill uh, Sienkiewicz. I think when we do get Wolverine, books like this will um, just increase. the 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 percentage that you're going to get in terms of the increase in getting these uh, less expensive books, um, you know, is, is I think it's kind of the same if you start investing in the the, the key books because you're going to be spending more money, but you know your smaller investment, the the, the price that they're going to be going for in the future, I think you can uh, you can make some some pretty good money. Um, 
but I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of bad like in buying books and then holding on to them and then you know when something is released or um, something is speculated on and it's confirmed I have a hard time letting these books go because I just uh, you know, along the way I just kind of fall in love with them so I don't know we'll see what happens it's just fun to, to you know to collect them uh, I love them um, next one final one <clears throat> and this week I did get a major key it's a bit of a grail for me uh, I'll show you in just a second so I am also collecting some Submariner books. This is just a couple that I have here. Just a classic cover fight between uh, T'Challa and uh, Namor. Uh, we're going to get Namor, Submariner in the future for sure. Uh, how that's going to be, I'm not 100% sure. I did pick this up this week. Uh, first ongoing series. His earlier books are just way out of my price range, but something like this I can definitely get into. <clears throat> Is it going to increase in price? That's what I'm kind of um, hoping on. And, um, you know, when we do get Submariner um, confirmed, am I going to be able to let this go? Not 100% sure, but I do like to have these kind of books in my collection so those are just <clears throat> four um <clears throat> characters that i'm um kind of specking on and hunting for books while they're you know relatively inexpensive when we do get more of confirmed news you know uh, nova was um confirmed i think a few weeks ago so some of the books have have uh, increased and are getting more into the the spotlight so they're going to be uh, harder to find in uh, for for um, less money but uh, I just again I like finding those books that are associated with the character that have uh, you know significance in terms of the art in terms of some sort of storyline in terms of some sort of team up which is uh, which is kind of fun um, so I thought I'd just show you um, you know for those uh, characters that I'm I'm after in in the comments leave me um, leave me some of the characters or, or some of the books that you're you're kind of after and and maybe uh, you know message me and on how you approach uh, collecting because everybody's kind of different in how they are specking on a certain character or certain storyline um, and I find it extremely interesting uh, everybody's you know different uh, sort of take on it so leave me a comment in in uh, below and I'd like to hear what uh, what approach you guys have so second part of the video it's quick a little uh, unboxing I thought I'd uh, just uh, add a little something to this uh, video by doing that um, uh, the spec on the characters so instead of just like a regular old unboxing which is always fun because I know everybody really likes those unboxings um, uh, I'm actually not 100% sure what's in here I have a few um, books at CGC and they are definitely getting better time wise for sure uh, but they are getting way tougher on grading, which is fine. Um, like I said before, I think, you know, the 9.6s are the new 9.8s. Um, what's going to happen, I think, is the, the rift or the, the divide between a 9.8 and a 9.6 or a 9.4 <clears throat> is going to close. And those 9.6s are going to increase in value because just because that's what's going to be... Um, put into the market or uh, maybe those nine eights because they're harder to get will uh, just skyrocket because they're gonna be that much more rare I'm not I'm not sure <clears throat> but I kind of think that the, the nine sixes will um, you know increase in price as well uh, and as people are getting more and more into collecting um, I 
would think that those lines will be kind of blurred in terms of um, in terms of grades. Um, there's just going to be more value in it because there's more people interested in um, in getting those books. So uh, that's just I feel. So I have three books here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Ah, yes. Love this cover. Great. I'm not the. I'm not going to give the hide the the grade. So this is Nice House on the Lake, number one, uh, James Tinian. This is uh, Frankie's Comics. That is a stunning cover. What's going to happen with this series now that James Tinian has branched off and is going independent? I'm not sure. But at the time I submitted this, that was not what was happening. One thing, I just love this cover. Um, and two, I thought that the series, which was fantastic, had some potential to um, kind of go somewhere in terms of uh, TV series, something like that. So, but just stunning cover. I love it. It's great. Nine eight. None of these were pressed. None of these were cleaned. I now I know um, what these books were. All brand new. So. Uh, another Frankie's Comics. Ooh, yes. Oh, makes me so happy. Uh, Moon Knight 1. New series. Del Otto. So I think he did two. Uh, and once the, the, the other one was an all black cover. But that is stunning. Oh my god, right? It's so good. Again, another Frankie's uh, Comics exclusive. I've been trying to pare back some of the uh, variants and exclusives that I've been trying to get so I can get my um, bigger books like that. I was buying a lot of the uh, store exclusives, a lot of the variants, a lot of the uh, incentives and ratios, but I've been very selective um, in what I've been buying. Just so I can put the money towards, you know, again, like those uh, four characters that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm specking on, because th there's 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 love for for both of these um, uh, kinds of books. Okay, so this was uh, big time collectibles uh, exclusive. This is also a character that I'm specking on, um, but I just thought I'd show you the four. Uh, so Moon Knight one again. This was the uh, Garner um, Big Time Collectibles. But wow, right? <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. For anything, uh, these books I kind of want to keep because I just love the covers. I have some other Moon Knight books that I'm kind of uh, collecting um, when we do get closer to the series. Um, I might move to get into, you know, put that money towards other books, but I'm going to be holding on to some of these covers because great series and some of the art on the, um, the books has been fantastic. And today is um, Disney Investor Day. Uh, we did get a sizzle reel for Moon Knight. It was great. Um, did I think we were going to get more from them? For sure, and I think a lot of people, I'm not saying they were disappointed, but we're just expecting a lot more. Uh, it's earlier in the day, so I don't know if we're going to be getting more later on. Who knows? But man, just awesome. Sometimes I just send books because I love the art, I love the series. And I want to protect these books, um, even though they are brand new. Uh, sometimes I send books for um, to sell because of speculation. All different kinds of reasons. What are your reasons? Leave uh, leave some um, some of your thoughts in the in the comments. I, again, I'd like to hear not only on some of the characters that you're specking on, but you know, also. Um, reasons behind 
why you send some books in. Some people are very um, selective of what they send in. Some people are um, leery of sending books in to get graded. I don't know. Everybody's different. And I'd like to hear everybody's story. So just leave me yours. I'm so happy. All nine eights. Why not? All pristine books. Brand new. All right, guys. That is it for the video. Um, thanks for joining me. If you are enjoying, uh, like the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Leave me, again, some, some comments and some, um, some of your thoughts. Uh, find me on Instagram. The, the link will be in the description. Always hit me up. I like to um, see other people's comics. I like to chat and interact with the, with the community. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, I just want to keep, uh, keep growing with it. And that's all I have. So I hope everybody, everybody has a fantastic day. And I will uh, chat soon. Take care. Cheers.